gorgeous! Today I'm doing a video called What's in my bag or What's in my purse. Here's my bag. As you can see, it's humongous. Uh, I just got it at TJ Maxx not too long ago and it's really cute. I love it. It has an outside pocket which has my keys. I look like a janitor with that set of keys. But anyway, moving on to the inside. This is what the inside looks like. As you can see, there's lots of pockets and compartments, and I love that in a bag. I have my Sephora mirror. Every girl needs a mirror in her pocketbook. I have my gum. I have a Conair brush. This is a wonderful teasing brush, but I keep it in my bag because sometimes I'll put my hair up throughout the day and I hate when I have like bumps. You know when you get bumps when you go to put your hair up? I hate that. So this is really good at smoothing away the bumps. I also have my Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I love this scent. I think it smells so good. And then I have my makeup bag. I got this at Ulta. It's a Too Faced bag and it actually came with some products that are in here that you'll see. Um, the things that came in it I'll show you first. It came with the Too Faced Lip Insurance which is a lip primer. Too Faced lipstick in Totally Nude. That's what the color looks like. Came with a lip pencil. This is the perfect lips pencil and it's in perfectly nude and I did a swatch of that right there. A miniature Too Faced lip injection. This is supposed to be a lip plumper. I don't know about that. Like a, like a cherry scent to it and it does have like a warming tingling sensation on your lips but I don't know if I ever noticed any plumping action going on so but it's a good gloss I'll give it that much. And I also have the Glamour Gloss from Too Faced, and this is in Sex Pot, and I did a swatch of that, and it's this color right here, this like, you know, sheer um, pinky purple color. Um, from Josie Moran, if any of you have never heard of Josie Moran, get on that because she's amazing. She used to be a supermodel and now she has her own cosmetics line and guess what girls? Her cosmetic line is organic and cruelty free. So ugh, two amazing things in one line. I can't believe it. And another great thing, almost all of her products are infused with argan oil which is absolutely amazing for your skin and your hair. Um, when I got these two products, um, they came in a Beauty in a Box set from Sephora and it was her bronze Beauty in a Box. So it came with an eyeshadow quad, these two lipstick and lip gloss, and a little sample of the Pure Argan Oil and a mascara that I do not remember the name of. But I didn't really like it. <clears throat> I didn't really like it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this lip gloss is so gorgeous. That's what the color looks like. And the name of it is called Birthday Suit, and it's A70. And I did a swatch of that. You can barely see it because it's nude, but that's what it looks like. And then her gloss is in Optimism A50. And this is amazing. It's a natural lip volumizer. And I'm going to put some on. I just love this gloss so much. I think, first of all, it does not taste good by any means. Um, it tastes like, you know, standard unflavored lip gloss. But it stays on. It has, you know, a thick consistency, but not the kind that's, like, annoying that, like, gets all over and it's gross like I like the consistency of it and it's the color is just amazing and she has obviously more colors to choose from in both the lipstick and lip gloss but these are the, co the colors that came in the box I ordered so and not to mention the fact that in this box was all full-size products I mean huh, it's not every day you see that when you're ordering a sample box I mean oh huh, wonderful from 
Tarte, the Rise and Shine Gloss and Lip Stain. They're both in the color Nude. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I'm really into nude glosses and lipsticks. <laughs> so, um, I love the gloss with this one, but the stain, I'm not, I mean, if you do it lightly, it's nice, but if you do too much, I don't know, maybe it's just because, like, I don't really like dark colors or anything. I'll, no, I'm not gonna, I'll, actually, that's what this is right here. I forgot I did it before. I mean, it looks lighter now because I barely did any when I did do a swatch of it, but, you know, it's had a chance to dry. I also applied a layer of the gloss over it, so that lightened it up even more, but my one gripe with this, besides the lip, ooh, Besides the lip stain, the lip gloss, although it's amazing and I absolutely love it, I love the color, I love how it has like the perfect amount of shimmer in it, it doesn't really stay on that long, so I don't really like that. You have to keep applying it so you go through it quicker, but I love it so much that I don't even care about that. I also have the Smashbox O Gloss. That's what I was wearing before. I mean, I'm still wearing it, but that's what I was wearing before I put the Josie Moran lip gloss on. It says on the back, it says, get a shiny pink pal all your own. This innovative silky formula goes on clear and then instantly transforms into your own custom shade of pink. This is my shade of pink. It will look different on anybody. So that was like the one cool thing I thought about it. And actually, it does um, change for me. I wasn't tan when I first bought it, and I had signed up maybe a couple weeks after. And when I was using it while I wasn't tan, it was much lighter. And since I've been tanning, um, my lips, I guess, have gotten darker. That's why it's like a dark pink, but I like it. And I just think, I just thought it was cool that, you know, it changed color, and I just wanted to try it, basically. I have a notepad, because you never know when you need to write something down, and because, like I said, you never know when you have to write something down, and I have my eye dark lotion I just did a review on this yesterday so if you go indoor tanning watch the review if you haven't and if you don't you don't have to watch it or you could watch it just to see what it was all about and maybe one day you'll sign up for tanning and you'll want a new tanning lotion to try and you could try that the last thing I have in my bag is my wallet which is kind of open right now and it's a coach wallet. I got this from my best friend. Um, he gave it to me for Christmas. And I kind of, it was like in really good condition when he gave it to me for Christmas. But I like overstuff everything. So I've kind of like ruined it a little bit. I have a lot of change in this part. In the inside I have like a lot of crap. There's like my checkbook in here. All kinds of receipts, coupons, like, you know when you go to CVS, Rite Aid, um, even, well, when you go to CVS and Rite Aid, you know how they get, like, on the receipt, they give you the little rewards coupon things. I have, like, a bunch of those in here. I have coupons for Ulta. I have a lot of gift cards. I have my debit card, credit cards, everything. That was my bag, ladies. Nothing interesting, I don't think. Just like normal stuff you find in a pocketbook. But I just thought I'd do the video because it looked fun. And I hope you guys thought it was fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if there's anything that, you know, you would like to request me to do, you know I'd love to hear it. And if you have any comments, do that below. Please rate this video. And if you have not subscribed to me, please do. For everybody that has subscribed to me, thank you very much. I love you guys. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. So, mwah, until next time, bye dolls.